Coronavirus got people doing weird things. That is a duck that just walked down the road. Carry on your way, duck. Carry on. Howdy y'all, Joel Hansen here, and this is what's going on. There is a brand new fried chicken place in town. So currently it's only a pop-up shop, although they are getting a location locally, I guess. But that being said, this is some Southern fried chicken. They are priding themselves out of the Nala area, the New Orleans, Louisiana area. So I expect this fried chicken to be damn good, and by the reviews, I'm sure it is. So I went online, I placed my order, as much as a pop-up shop, and they're like currently sold out, so I'd do this in advance but uh, they had like, you know, four person, six person, blah, blah, blah meals. I actually went with a 12 person meal. Yes, the biggest one they had, a 12 person meal. So I think it's like 24 pieces of fried chicken, like a whole bunch of biscuits, uh, like French fries, popcorn chicken. There's so much stuff in this bundle. I don't even, I'll let you know what's all in it, but it sounds super good. So yeah, Poppy's fried chicken with a name like that, like it better, it's good. I'm sure it's gonna rock. So let's go find out. Let's eat some a delicious fried chicken, some taste of the South, that Nala New Orleans experience. And I'm excited. So let's eat some mother clucking fried chicken. So here we are, it's a rainy day, but Poppy's. So again, they're doing this fried chicken. It's a pop-up shop, so getting it to go, of course. I can smell it, and it smells really good, so I'm excited about that. So what we got here is, in these two buckets, we have 24 pieces of fried chicken and spicy popcorn chicken. I have three french fries, which I'll probably just all dump into maybe one or two. I have some delicious looking biscuits with gravy, biscuit gravy, which I've never had in my life actually. I have three whole containers of their mac and cheese. I have two containers of their delicious looking coleslaw. And I have some house made pickles. So all this looks absolutely delicious. The only one item or ingredient I kind of forgot for myself, because I love ketchup, is I barely have any ketchup left, but I do have some hot sauce. Um, so with that, we're basically just gonna dig into all this. It looks absolutely delicious. So maybe I'll get some plates to put it on. Maybe I won't, and let's get started. All right, so I'm just gonna eat this pretty casually, but for some reason, some people are always like, you should include a timer. So I'm gonna set a timer, but like, I'm not gonna eat this like, you know, as fast as I can or anything. I'm gonna enjoy it. It looks like great food. So uh, anyway, timer started. So yeah, let's just kind of dig in. I'm so excited. Look at this fried chicken. Looks just so delicious. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm. You guys hear that? You literally hear the juiciness of it. Oh, one sec. Look at it dripping. Delicious. Mm. Very moist. It's very much like a rosemary flavor. Love the breading on it. Yeah, rosemary, very much a rosemary flavor. Batter is crunchy. Chicken is juicy. And it doesn't seem greasy. Which is usually a complaint to people with fried chicken. But the first cold bite is delicious. Here we have some uh, of their spicy popcorn chicken, it's called. Okay. So I get a bit of a, definitely a pepper flavor, like a hot pepper flavor. Same with the batter. Nice texture, crunchy, crispy. Give a bit of salt to it. And a nice, like a nice, a very light level of heat. But like a good level of heat. It's not like crazy spicy to burn your mouth. But rather a slow building heat after you eat a whole handful. Mm. I like it, I'm impressed. Mm. Look at this. Every time I bite into this chicken, it just drips. I 
for it to be as crispy as it is, after you're sitting in a bucket for however long, it means you're doing something right. Very delicious. Put this cover on this bucket. And it's a huge bucket, huge amounts of food. I'm very impressed. Yeah. One of the strong flavors on that chicken is that rosemary I'm getting. And it's great. But it's like, but then I get the heat, the spice from that uh, popcorn chicken. This is probably the juiciest fried chicken I've ever had. Every time I bite into it, every piece, it just keeps dripping. Mm. Mm. Love the flavors, love the flavors. I will say though, it's, it's like it's a good portion. Like I know this meal's made for 12 people, but for one Joel, it's a great portion. I almost feel like I should get a big tray and just dump everything out on it. Maybe I'll do that actually. Maybe you guys can see the food a little bit better, but dang, this bucket never ends. So I've only had legs or drumsticks so far. Mm. This is a breast. I'm all about them breasts. Mm. Again, extraordinarily juicy. I don't know if this got like rub off from the spicy um, popcorn chicken, but this one definitely is like spicy. That's a bomb. But a nice amount of salt. Again, kind of that rosemary. You get a pepper, almost a paprika. Nice like bit of you hear that? What a crunch. And that's after just being in a bucket for so long. That's so impressive. <laughs> mm. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I love the spices. Right amount of heat, right amount of breading. Not greasy. Insanely juicy. And I tell you what, they know what they're doing. But I love the flavors. So, like, so nicely seasoned. And it's very tender. It just like comes apart. Try not to eat any bones. <laughs> but yeah, the, the drumsticks were super juicy. The thighs have been super juicy. The breasts have been super juicy. I like all those things. Mmm. Super impressed though. All right, last piece out of this bucket. Popcorn chicken. And I would say, this is gonna be a lot of food. Nicely about not having a beard. I don't get food all on my face. I feel like I'm gonna go get a plate though, um, because I'm starting to make a mess. And then we'll get into some French fries and some more items. All right, I got a tray. So I do think this will help make everything a little bit more, maybe presentable, visible. However you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Let me figure this out here. All right, I dumped the two biscuits together. These are the three 
mac and cheese. Here's my two coleslaw, I'll leave those as is. I'll take the french fries and dump those out on the tray. That's a lot of french fries. Here's more french fries. That's a pile of french fries. And then we have our biscuits. All right, here, I'll leave those in the box for now. They look good. Again, I, I, I mean, like, biscuits are a thing in the South, and I, I just really haven't been, you know, exposed to biscuits much. And then here's the fried chicken. All right. There we go. So that's what's in a bucket. Let me get a picture of this. This could be a, this could be a thumbnail right here. Look at that. Look at all that delicious fried chicken. Anyway, it, it is really good though. Like it doesn't just look good, it is good. Uh, I want to try some pickles. House pickles, I like pickles. So I very much taste what I describe as like a balsamic or wine vinegar, despite not being dark. Maybe it's a wine vinegar, but yeah. Very sharp, very, very, very sharp tasting pickles. They're good, very sharp. Try this lovely looking coleslaw. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hot damn, I do love a good coleslaw. Big coleslaw fan. Guarantee it's a, it's a house made, homemade dressing. Crisp, nice bit of, nice bit of creaminess to it. Not overly rich, and mild acidity. It's very balanced. A very balanced coleslaw. I'm always envious of the South, so I feel like I'm kind of reliving like a, or I'm living like a Southern, I don't know, picnic style meal in a way. If you can call it that. Something like that. All right, let's get back some of this chicken. Same thing going here. Very juicy. Nice flavors of rosemary. Very succulent. There's another word for you. So while my other pack seemed to be a lot of uh, like legs. Drumsticks. There's a lot of breast in it. Maybe some thighs. And these are some nice sized breasts. Just the way I like them. That's what he said. I'm talking about chicken breasts though, of course, you know. I don't know how else you take that. Let's try some of the french fries. So the french fries just look like straight up, like house made potatoes. Still got the skin on them. I like the skin on them. It's a, it's a solid french fry. I feel like it has a, uh, there's a bit of a flavor to it. Like, is it a little bit of a spice? I feel like there's a bit of a French fry spice on there. I know that it's like, just because I put the fried chicken on the French fries, or maybe they're fried in the same oil or wherever it is. But the flavor, I almost get like a fried chicken essence to it, if that makes sense. So I don't know again if it's because I have them together, where it's a little bit of seasoning on the french fries, but whatever they do, I almost get a reminiscence of fried chicken, which is awesome. And I wish all french fries kind of tasted like fried chicken. There's more of that spicy popcorn chicken. Mm. Mm. Very rosemary in the bite, a little spicy. I'm getting thirsty. This is some 
I mean, it's delicious, but a bit of salt on it. I feel the sides of my mouth, too. Like the chicken's so crispy, it's kind of cut in the sides of my mouth. Mm. Of course, it only happens because I'm eating food for 12, but excellent flavor so far. Back some beautiful, beautiful legs. Mm. Mm. So juicy, like it's dripping again. See that? It's dripping. I don't know. Drip. Anyway, that's crazy. I don't think I've ever had fried chicken that drips like that. Delicious. I'll pick up my accent for the re remainder of this video, maybe. Some fried chicken. Who don't like fried chicken? I don't know. I say they don't like fried chicken. I ain't him. I mean, the bones are so good. I tell you what, it's a lot of dang food, but it's very tasty. I wonder who first fried chicken. Like, basically in like today's style chicken where we batter it. That's a question to Google. Excuse me. Yeah, very much like a wine vinegar in those pickles. It's really interesting. I like them. They're like a maybe like a mustard seed taste, but a mustard or something. Refreshing. Ooh. I do like this coleslaw. The best way to describe it because it's so balanced, because it's just really easy to eat. And I don't mean that like, oh, it's hard to eat, like, you know, physically hard. But because it's so balanced, it just sits really well on the palate. Boy, oh boy. All right. I still got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try a biscuit. Those biscuits are supposed to be delicious. They smell good. You can smell like, you can smell like the butter in them. I know some people say, oh, Joey, you showed us enough. Well, I won't show you too much, but I do gotta show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this is some kind of a, I think it's like a honey, holy jump, they got a few things in here. Different kinds of butters. I feel like I read one of these was called like a, I don't know, I want to say like a honey, here's some kind of a sauce. What's this? It smells smoky. Ooh. Smoky. I don't know what it is. It has some heat to it though. I don't know if that's for the biscuits or for the chicken. That's hot. Like it's spicy. Huh. Damn. Maybe leave this and try some of this on the chicken. But it's very hot, like spice-wise. Right, and then, like I said, butter. I feel like some of this butter I read something about, I don't know, for, like honey, honey something butter. Oh man, it smells good though. So I'll try the biscuit. I think it's a cheese bit or something. Wow, my mouth is burning from that sauce though. All right, let's try it. Very moist. Very crumbly. Damn, that is rich. Whoa, good bit of salt in there. This makes sense, it's a very pronounced biscuit flavor. Like, if you ever taste this blindfolded, 
it would be like, it tastes like a biscuit. So this butter has a good, a sweet, a lot of sweetness to it. Woo! I tell you, putting butter on the biscuits though, like they're these are rich. This makes it super rich. Don't get me wrong, it's very good. It's very heavy, but it is really good. Oh yeah, this butter. Fantastic. Fan flippity task. Try this fries and the gravy. Yeah, very rosemary forward. It's, it's kind of creamy. It's like a, like you said, kind of like a white or a biscuit gravy. That's kind of how I would describe it. It's like a brown gravy. It's really good. But like, like I said, with that rosemary, maybe there's even thyme in that one. It it's like, it very like, kind of tastes like Thanksgiving. It's like a Thanksgiving gravy. Good. I'm busting out my ketchup, although like I said, I don't have much of it left. Big ketchup fam. It's ketchup time. Chicken in that ketchup. I like ketchup on a lot of things. But in all reality, it really doesn't need ketchup. It's delicious. I just like bit a bone. So I have a whole bunch of fragments in my mouth. Try not to choke and die on a bone. Alright. Do you have fried chicken? A spicy pepper chicken and this incredibly spicy sauce. There's no way. Like I said, it's some kind of chipotle. It's some kind of very like smoky tasting pepper. It's a little creamy. We just get that overarching, smoky, chipotle kind of flavor, which is delicious. But like, it's like burning your mouth, like burn the back of your throat spicy. But I love the flavor. With the spicy flavor of it, like the smokiness, delicious. Oh. It's a lot of food. I feel my blood pressure rising. I think it's a, I think there's a lot of salt in it too. Like delicious, but I mean, again, this was intended for 12 people and not for one Joel. So, I mean, obviously there's a window between us. But there's a robin sitting on a tree right there, which is like three feet away from me. He obviously doesn't know I'm here right now. I almost feel like I don't want to move to scare him. I think he's his eyes closed. I think he's sleeping. Because normally you can't get half that close. Oh, I think he sees me. Now he's looking at me. <sighs> anyway. But yeah, seriously, some of the most flavorful Fried chicken I've ever had. I don't know if the chicken's supposed to be dipped in the gravy. We'll try it. That's pretty damn good. They have very similar spice profiles, like flavor profiles. By the way, we've been eating for 42 minutes right now. Yeah, the bread sees me. Mm. Uh, the sides of my mouth are getting a little ripped out. Ugh. Our fried chicken is still crispy. After however long. It's impressive. Ugh. All right, I got three containers of freaking mac and cheese here. Let's check them out. I can appreciate mac and cheese, like a good mac and cheese, but like admittingly, cheese and mac and cheese are not my all time favorite items. So again, I can appreciate a good mac and cheese. 
Mm. And I can make a mess with it. So the noodles are not overcooked. They're like almost al dente. There's a very rich, uh, rich cheese. It's, it's pretty damn creamy. Like it's good. Again, it's, it's generally not my preferred dish, but if you want like a quality mac and cheese, this seems like a very quality macaroni and cheese. It's, again, it's cooked perfectly. It's very, you know, it's rich. It's creamy. Everything is well coated. <clears throat> And it's surprisingly warm. Even after all this time. But I think I'm gonna leave it there. It's good tasting. So yeah, overall, really good mac and cheese. Very high quality, I can tell. So if you like mac and cheese, you will very much enjoy that. All right, last piece of chicken here. A few pieces of the uh, popcorn chicken. Uh, we got lots of biscuits, so I'll, I'll start going through those. Woo, I'm heating up, I'll tell you that much. So my own fault, normally I'd like to have like some Diet Coke or something with this meal. I didn't have any. So obviously I don't have Diet Coke with this meal. Um, but right now we are like 51 and a half minutes in. So that's how long this has taken so far. Of course I haven't been rushing. I've very much been leisurely eating, taking my time, sharing and reviewing everything with you guys. But yeah, we're almost an hour in, which is crazy. It doesn't seem like that long for me. So yeah, let's get through some of these biscuits. Oh. This has a lot of food. And our last adventure here at home, we ate food for, I think I ordered for six people. So today we doubled that for 12 people. Oh boy. Now to those biscuits and this butter. I mean, one, they're definitely not calorie free. But they're good. Very good. I mean, this makes sense. Like they're light and fluffy. Like they're very crumbly. But because they're a biscuit, they're dense. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I do have a... Yeah, no, Mountain Dew Zero here, I was, I've been trying to preserve these because I, I, I found them once at the store that I couldn't find them again. Biscuits. Fifty-nine minutes of eating. It does help the food's really good, but whew, blood sugars or blood pressure start to raise. You don't feel it. But I'm gonna finish these two biscuits, and I think that's gonna be it. I just have a small bit of fries left. I'm out of lake. I'm out of water. I have like a half can of that Mountain Dew. So, that's fine. Right now I just feel like I wanna take a nap. 
People often ask, how do you feel after? It really depends. Eating anything for this long makes you just feel like you're going to take a nap. If you eat it quicker, you don't feel that as much. All right, I finished as many fries as I have Diet Coke for, or Mountain Dew, whatever it is. But at that, you think the Poppy's fried chicken biscuits? Like the fried chicken was absolutely excellent, super delicious. Very much enjoyed it. The biscuits were very good. Um, like unlike a biscuit I've ever had, super super flavored. And it was great. I very much enjoyed the coleslaw. Like I said, the French fries aren't bad. They kind of taste like fried chicken, which is pretty cool. Um, popcorn chicken was great. Got some great flavors, great sauces. Uh, again, for the time being, a pop up shop out of a place called Salt Lake um, on Mondays, and then they're gonna have a shop soon which will be on Barton Street somewhere in Hamilton. So that's pretty cool. Great fried chicken though. I love the flavors. Definitely <clears throat> oh, the juiciest, juiciest fried chicken I've had. All right, my last sip. That means I'm done. Ooh. I was uh, one hour, seven minutes, 47 seconds. Again, great food. That was a lot of it. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, I, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep. But everybody, till next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. Just don't do what I do. And uh, of course, happy eating. Okay, there is so much food. Look at this. So I got one massive bag. You guys don't understand how heavy this is. Two massive bags, similarly just as heavy. And then a third smaller bag. This is intense. Uh, people, I'm gonna like see if, people always be like, how much does weigh, you know, weigh your food, blah, 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 which is whatever. It's not practical 90% of the time, but I'm gonna see if the scale can even weigh, like calculate how much one of these bags weigh. So, that would weigh, let's see. So that bag alone is over six pounds, almost seven pounds. Six pounds, basically 13 ounces. This bag is 7. Point, you know, seven pounds, so let's say one and a half ounces. So between the two, that is like 14 pounds. And yeah, I mean, there'll be a little bit of weight for the containers, but that's nothing. And then this bag is, hold on, that one's not, that one's not part of that. And that bag is a pound and seven, which is absolutely insane. So this is, I don't even, like I said, this is crazy. Let's open this up. This is going to be great.